are you doing? What are you doing right now? Eh? Are you not supposed to be up and doing? <laughs> I didn't sleep until. Ah, now is that my problem? Eh? Would you get that of this person? What? You want me to wake my children? Eh? What are you supposed? What are you doing? Eh? If, 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 I, if I break this thing, if I open my eyes, and you are still there. This girl. Stupid girl. Am I supposed to do your work for you? Ah. Your tea, sir. Thank you, Oma. You're welcome. Hey, yeah. Uh. Um, 
Mom, Dad. Good morning, my angels. Where is that eating without me? Good morning, Mom. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning baby. How are you? Fine. Hmm. Cannot you tell? I'm going to food here. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Mama. And say good morning. And say good morning. And say good morning. I need my own room. Oh, Motola, love. Why? You and your sister, you've shared the same room since you were, what, two? I am a woman and I am older than her. Besides, I don't want to share a room with the elf. Okay. The second part makes sense. But, woman, <laughs> you're a child there. Hmm? And you'll get your own room when you're much older. But for now, you share. But, mom. We're done talking about this. This is unfair. Eat your food. Come on. Are you okay, baby? My husband wants a goosey soup for dinner. So go to the market and buy all the necessary things you need for a goosey soup. And then get to the grocery store and get us some this list. Okay, ma. And then on your way back, get my husband's laundry, okay? Yes, ma. You're still here. Huh? Ma? 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 My friend, will you get busy and do something with your life? <laughs> <Or Ami. laughs> Ma, I tell you all the time, I don't speak Yoruba. But you live in Lagos. You should speak Yoruba. Not everybody who lives in Lagos should speak Yoruba. Nigeria has a diversity of cultures, languages, and people in Lagos should know really? that. Really? Tell me more about my country, young girl. <laughs> Sorry, Ma, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> mm? So, I have noodles. I have a furry roll. Should I make you a bath? Um, no, no, ma. I was actually on my way to the market or mall. So I wanted to know if you needed anything from the market or mall. Um, I don't need anything. I'm okay. Okay. Okay, dear. All right. Thank All right. you, ma. Hurry then. Okay. Bye-bye, <laughs> ma. Bye-bye. Ah. 
This soup is so delicious. I cannot believe I, I, I miss a hot soup like this. Oh my made it too. Eh? Oma. My Oma made it too. Such a good girl. Wow. I'm impressed. Tell her to come and carry the plate. Oma. Oma, oh, come, come, come. Come carry your auntie plate. Ah. You finish a book. I, I, I cannot believe I missed a hot soup like this. It is lovely. Carry your auntie plate. Go oh. keep for inside. <laughs> Mm, thank you. <laughs> hey. Hey. Thank mm. God, though. Hey. Oma has grown, though. In fact, when Nene sent me her picture, I argued it. I said, this cannot be the one year old I left in the village the other time. Hey, because you know they come home. <laughs> now, why you know see when she didn't grow? But I didn't tell you, all this plenty at what she did eat. <laughs> now, she didn't cook. Now, she didn't give us. So now, now she, she didn't chop. Us. <laughs> well, we and the vegetables here. In fact, fresh. fresh vegetables. <laughs> She's growing so fast. I know, but it's good now. Mm. It's good for me. You just to pray for her. Hey, God, use this girl. Use them. Use them. Use them. May they bless me. I don't suffer too much, my sister. Well, prayer is good, but it's not enough. I feel led in my spirit to take Oma with me to Lagos and enroll her in a private university. Take Oma mm -hmm. with you to Lagos? Mm -hmm. You talk private to you, my sister. Mm. My sister, wake up. Look, see me. See my house. See where I live. Me and my children know food three times a day. You won't carry on my go put in two private events. I go sell myself. Maybe sell my picking them too. Olochi, who asked you for money? Hmm? No, who asked you for money? Hey! Poverty is indeed a disease. You can't even recognize the opportunity in front of you. Anyway, luck is on your side. My husband and I have decided to sponsor Oma. Eh? Mm -hmm. And enroll her in a private university. Sponsor as in carry her problem, carry her university, carry everything. Yes. You see, in a private university in Lagos, she can finish on time and then no strike. She'll get a job. And I mean, everything will just be okay with her. Your husband agree? Yes. <laughs> Oluchi, all we need is your approval and your blessing. My Oma to Lagos. Mm -hmm. Go to university. I have said it. Hey! Oma! Hey! Tonight, tonight, carry her. Where is Oma? Come, 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 come. <sighs> Until good afternoon. Where's my husband's laundry? <sighs> Where are you coming from? Um, the, the, the market. The, the market. Uh -huh. So why didn't you pick it up on your way back, like I told you? I'm sorry. I, 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 I forgot. I'm, I'm sorry. Do you know that you are useless? Useless! I don't know why I brought you here in the first place. Why I'm spending so much money on you, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, come back here. Where are you going to? Um. The, the, the laundry, I, I, I want to go and get it. Oh, so I give you instructions and then you disobey me. And then you do it in your own time, your own will, right? No, no. What I want to understand is why you did not bring gates on your way back, like I told you to. Um, I, I, I was carrying. Oh, my friend, shut up your mouth. Oh, Luchu was busy making out. Eh? I'm raising a fine daughter. My daughter, my daughter. She did not raise you well. You are spoiled. In fact, you are useless. Oluchi is a terrible mother. But I will not spare the rod. I'm going to flog out that wretched, evil, mischievous part of you. I will flog it out of you. Look, 
Next time I send you on an errand. Next time, next time I send you, 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 you will get it and come back immediately. Go and get me what I sent you. Sleep there. Don't come back and cook for me. Idiots. Eh? I bring you come city now. Now, 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 now me get problem. You want to be disrespecting me in my own house. I don't get it. I am not eating this. Motala, you're a Nigerian. And it's good that every once in a while you try out on local meals. But I don't like it. Me too. Well, sorry, that's all you're going to have. That's what we're having tonight. So if you don't want to eat it, then you're going to starve, I guess. Thank you. Mm. Oma, go upstairs and clean up our rooms. Okay. And then when you're done with that, please run a hot water bath for my husband and I. Yes, ma'am. And don't come downstairs until we're done eating. Yes, ma'am. What? Anyway, this is a goosey soup. I always enjoy this. Reminds me of when I used to work in Calabar. <laughs> Why can't we just have pizza instead of this? This happens to be a goosey soup and it's very nutritious for you guys. It helps you guys grow mm -hmm. bright eyes. Listen, you guys need to get used to more of homeland food, okay? You're Nigerians living in Nigeria. Listen to your dad. Eat your food. Bola. Please. Let me just eat my food in peace, okay? Thank you. Much better, right? Hmm? You prefer it, right? Okay. It's a fun. Bola, what was that about? What was what about? The look. What was it about? What look? At the dining. It was nothing. No? Bola, that look wasn't nothing. You were not happy I told Oma to remain upstairs till we were done eating. It offended you. And why would that offend me? I don't know. You think I'm unfair to her. You always do that. Always do what? Look, I will not allow Oma to ruin my perfect evening I have planned to spend with my husband. So I'll be upstairs waiting for you.
<laughs> when you say make you pack your things, how many? <laughs> but you know, listen, since morning, <laughs> Oma, don't go there, Miss Wave, bro. Don't be stubborn. You know, this, your auntie and your uncle, they give us once in a lifetime opportunity to. Don't be how you know the speaker. I think they are no ghost. But, <laughs> um, but um, my daughter, beg. When you get there, listen to them. Listen to what they have to say. Your auntie, no good disappoint. No good deceive you anyhow. Eh? Please pay attention so that you can achieve your goal. Eh? Get what you want, go there, go to. I'm not going to be a lot of hair. Oh, my God, I'm going to be a lot of hair. No, I will not eh? disappoint you. And I know and I, I will not misbehave. Uh -huh. And I know I raised you well. God will go to you. Yes. And God will lead you. God will every way they look for. God will do one for you. Amen. I thought I will miss you. I will do. Eh? I will oh, my do one. be good now. <laughs> I will miss you. This thing, okay. Don't go to Banno Park. You know the park, right? No, be in Banno Park. No, be in Giri Park. Now, Lagos Park. All my Lagos. I will make you proud. I promise. It's going to be okay. I shall have my lake stream. And to welcome her. What? Eh. And I, I want to talk to you about my going to school. And what about it? Um. Well, Auntie, it's, it's been over a year that you said you would look into it. But since then, nothing has been said or even done. So I was just uh, wondering... Are you calling me a liar? No, Ma. No. So where is all this um, school talk coming from? I, I just want... Who have you been talking to? No one. You pathological liar. Who do you think you're talking to? Huh? A dummy? Look, all these your games, I know them all. Huh? You come in here with that thing you call a smile on your face that makes you look like one hippopotamus. And you dare call me a liar? In my home. Mm. Well, go tell whoever it is you're talking to that has told you to come and ask me about school that it will not work. Hmm? Look at you. You're so naive and stupid. So you really think I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on you? You have no manners, no simple etiquette. You have no home training. Yes, because if you do, you would have not walked up to me to ask me like I owe you something. It's the confidence for me. You want me to spend? Look, do you know how many people in the village that would kill to be in the city and you're here, ask. <laughs> Your mere sight of you just irritates me. Really. Just get out of my sight. Come back here. It's like you don't have work. Get me my bag. to the laundry. I left some clothes there. My credit card wasn't working, so I couldn't pay them. Just pay them and grab my clothes for me. 
And where do you think you're going to? Is that the way to the laundry? I, 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 I want to... I want to change my clothes. And what is wrong with what you're wearing? Get out of here! I say get out! Stupid girl. I felt there was no going back. Despite I had no friends or family. Other than Auntie Kim and her family, the only friends I had made was Mrs. Davis. And she was staying alone. But I never thought of staying with her. I didn't know how she would feel about that. I was determined never to go back to the house, so I kept on moving. I was at the point of losing it. It's getting late and these streets are not safe. I needed a place to spend the night. She tried to run away. Where did I go wrong? Luz, listen, Kim, you're being too harsh on her. Really? Yes. I can't believe you. You need to cut her some slack. Cut her some slack. <laughs> that I will do. She's going back to the village. Come on, she's just a child. You need to take it easy with her. A child? Bola, she's 22 years old. Her mates are married in the village. She's an adult. Yeah, but listen, you need to make her more comfortable. She has learned her lessons, okay? She knows that you're only family and she's got nowhere to go. Come on, just breathe, okay? Please. Fine, good morning, ma. Is everything okay? Have you eaten? You know what? You know Musa can do this, but I was bored, that's why I came to do it myself. So, now that you're here, I'm no longer bored. Let's go in. Musa, turn off the tap! to pay me oh. no I, I just I need a place I can stay and figure out what to do a place to stay 
What happened to the house where you live with your aunt? She just slumped. Call Dr. Mark. Who? I don't have his number. Oh. Calm down. End this call and go through her contact. Her number is there. Please call her now. Please. Okay, okay. Jesus. Jesus. Dr. Mark. Hello, yes, it's Mrs. Davis. She slumped. Somebody said she's going there. I don't know what to do. Okay, okay. Is she okay? Yes, she's going to be fine. She just needs some rest, that's all. You are leaving? Oh, sure. She's just experiencing effects from the treatment. Treatment? What, what treatment? Who are you? Um, I, I, I live next door. I was the person on the phone. Oh, Mrs. Davis will be fine. Don't worry. You guys had fun. <laughs> uh, what do you want to eat now? I know what to get you. You know what? Just go upstairs. Go upstairs, eh? When I'm ready, I'll call you. When the food is ready. <laughs> I wanted to be sure you're okay before leaving. Your auntie. Your auntie must have returned by now. Yes. Go home. But you. I'll be fine. Come and see me tomorrow. Okay, Ma. Where are you coming from? I've been calling you. Um, I, I, I just went to... Is dinner ready? Uh, no, Ma, not yet. Why are you still here? Uh, let me do it. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Why is the feast like this now? Uh -huh. Could you want anything? Come oh, now, you know I like you, right? 
Why do you think I've been defending you all this time? Come, you know, we can just go inside and just do, you know, quickie. Don't worry, I won't end up, just a tip. Just a tip. Oh, come on, you're a small girl now, come on. You know, you know. Oh. Calm down now. I'll take care of you. Give you plenty money. I am just gonna go, but think about it, okay? Until we morning. You're still cleaning this? Have you cleaned the children's bathroom? Yes, ma. I, I did that earlier. When you're done with that, go and clean my bathroom. I don't like the work you're doing here. I'm not impressed. I'm leaving this house in a few minutes. Before I come back, clean everywhere. Clean all the dust. You know me. You know me, right? Glad you're okay. <sighs> God. I knew you were going to rush here as soon as they went out. Hmm? You worry too much. <laughs> I was scared. I thought of losing the only friend I have. Terrified me. The, the doctor mentioned something about treatment. You asked me about a place to stay. Is that why you ran away from home the other time? Ninety-nine point nine percent of girls who run away from home without stopping to think of the consequences end up incarcerated, addicted, raped, all sorts of horrible things. This could be your story if you don't think things through. If you leave home, you have no one to come home to wherever you put up. It could lead to depression. You could get addicted, get into prostitution. If you're lucky, you'd get pregnant and become a single mother. That's if you're not dead. So, here's what's going to happen. You will go home, Omar. I just want to go to school, get a job and assist my family. That, that's all. Go home. What? Go home and reflect. Think about where you hope to be in five years' time. Then come and see me. But first, go home and think. <sighs> Yes, ma'am. I'm glad you're fine. Bye bye, ma'am. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Yes, ma'am.
me. I don't think he's gonna run away. Well, How much is it now? That's it's no big deal now. Good day, sir. Mama. I want you to go to the bank and deposit that money for me. And my wife thinks that I can trust you and that you will take the money and you will run away. But I told her I can trust you. I can trust you, right? All right. Here. That's the bank account you deposited into. That's my nephew's account. He's in university. You know, I can send you to school and I'll give you a lot of money than I am giving to my nephew. I get you, Oma. I will. Oma. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. My nephew called me and said he received the money. Good girl. So you didn't go back to work? No, I am off today. You look tired. You know, you should go upstairs and take a shower and rest. Okay, sir. All right. Yeah, you know. I'll take good care of you now. Hey. Oh, ma! Auntie, good evening. Where have you been? Upstairs. Hmm? Upstairs? So you're not bigger than me now? Yes! You're bigger than me because we've been back since and you did not come down to greet us. It came enough! Enough! I can hear your voice all the way from outside. Honey, please, honey, please, let me talk to this girl. Do you want to support her bad girl? Enough! Come on, give the girl some chance to breathe, okay? Oma, go back and do what you were doing, okay? My baby, but when you're done, come and show me, okay? I don't understand. Why are you here in Nigeria? I came to see my sick mother. <laughs> 
John. I am fine. I'm perfectly fine. You are worried too much. Um, I spoke to Dr. Mark. He said that the cancer is aggressive. You, 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 Sir. you have less than six months, mom. <sighs> Typical you, always trying to be strong for everyone. And so you flew to Nigeria to do what exactly? To save me. <laughs> the world doesn't need to stand still just because I'm dying. is doing very well in the city. Eh? Stop worrying. Very soon I shall come and take you to the city. Oh, the woman be my daughter. And you see if everything well, woman will call me. And they feel I'm something they know they're okay. Mama, calm your mind down. Calm your mind down. The Oma I know, if Oma is not doing well, Oma will come back. She be Oma is my friend now. I know her. She will come back. Yeah, but even in Kem, Kem, Kem. She never call her. Oh, hey, Mama, but let me let me rush home now eh? before my mother will start worrying the way you are worrying like this. I said, they talk to me now, my mind they come. But, mm -hmm. but just in case, if you hear from her, I beg, tell them, say, that one day, that one more, that come this weekend. Eh? Mama, calm your mind down. I will die, you. Ah, Mama, no, you will not die. Oh. Nobody will die. Calm your mind, eh? Oh, calm your mind, it's eh? So easy. I know now, but I'm here now. I'm here for you. This stupid, dirty girl. Evan always told her to switch off the light before she goes to bed. It's not even 10 p.m. She's already sleeping. So lazy. I don't even know what is wrong with you. Mom, what are we looking at? What do you mean? Well, you've been looking through that window for the past two days like there's something we should be looking at. It's nothing. Are you sure? I'm just worried about Omar. Omar? Oh, your friend. She hasn't been to see me in two days and... Uh... That's unlike her. Ah. Yeah. I would very much love to meet her. Why? Because she's been of great help to you. And I think I should meet her and, and greet her and, I mean, thank her. She's a very nice girl. Mm. You like her? Of course I would like her. Who wouldn't like her when you sing her praises every single day? <laughs> like some angel.
Good day, Uncle. Um, um, hi. Hi. John, who is it? It's, it's Oma. Oh, let her in then. Ma, I... I thought about what you said. And I want to be a very successful woman in the next five years. I want to take my family out of poverty. I want to bring my family together. Rather than staying at different places with different relatives. Oh, how do I do all this without higher education. John, hmm? what is it? Oh. I was just thinking. I'm sorry to have eavesdropped on your conversation. But I think there's something special about Oma. How? I think I would like to tutor her while I'm here. And if I know anything about my mother, I know you want to take her to school. But you don't want to be in the bad books of your neighbors, right? If you can tutor her while we find a way around her situation, that would be great. But I'm sure that's what you want to do. Yes, this is what I want to do. And you're right, she's a beautiful soul. John has decided to tutor you until we find a way to get you into the university. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good, good, bless you, sir. Good, bless you. Good. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, oh my God. You are now a part of my family, Oma. One thank you is enough. <laughs> Thank you for doing this, Uncle John. Uncle John? <laughs> Please call me John. No, Uncle. Oma, my name is John. Just John. Please call me John, I insist. Okay? Okay. John. Ah. <sighs> You see? Much better. <laughs> and, um... I should be the one thanking you. For always being here for my mother. You know, it gets really lonely when you spend all your time alone. But she's too stubborn to realize that. Or to even admit <laughs> it. So thank you, really. Thank you. She's like a mother to me, so...
the moment. So how are we doing? Hi, sir. Good. Also, I would like to see your secondary school results. I believe you have them here in Lagos. Good. <laughs> and this is for you. You must be thirsty. Thank you. Um, uh, I, I, I have to go. Oh, so soon? It's, it's, it's getting late, my, my auntie. Okay, 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 okay. Relax. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed your studies yes. today. Thank you. Let me just run. Bye, Mrs. Bye. Alma? Alma? Yes, sir. This is very good, you know. Thank you, sir. Have you eaten? Uh, no, no, not yet. Why? Make sure you don't touch any meat in that boat. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. She can't eat from the meal that she prepared. You know, you are something else. It's different, honey. You don't have to explain to me. I mean, I'm not thinking, you know. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Hey. <laughs> you need them to be quiet. You have to give back something, you know. So I want you. I want you here. I want you now. No. No, 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 sir. No, no, please. No, no. So after you're done with this one, I... I think I have another problem for you to solve. Let's get you up to speed on it. Hey. Come on. What is it? Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Is it too difficult for you? If it's difficult, we can... I'm not crying. I'm fine. I'm just tired. Oh. Okay. Good. Good. Let's just get some rest. If you were tired, you could have just said so. I'm not tired of learning. It's... It's my aunt. I'm tired of her abuse. Every day she... She abuses me. Physically. Emotionally. 
and her husband abused me sexually. What? <laughs> she, she came to the village over a year ago. Convinced my mother that she wanted to take me and train me in the university. Turns out she never had plans of sending me to school. She just wanted a maid. <laughs> and yet she's, she's always so mean, so wicked, so... I don't know what I ever did to her. The hatred is so obvious all the time. <laughs> And I cannot even reach out to her or anybody. And her husband just takes advantage of it. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have stopped me, Mom. There is nothing you or I can do at this moment. It's not right. I'm going right there to pluck her out of that house. You will do I'm no such thing. Mom, I'm going to remove her out of that house. You will, do you no will not such stop thing. me, Mom. You. you He bloody rapes her while his wife physically and emotionally abuses her. Why? Why? You speak so highly of this girl. Why won't you just help her? Do you think there are no days that I don't want to just... Just go there and pluck her out of their hands? But I can't. It's against the law. It's against our culture. Those people are her guardians. Her family. She's not mine to just take. She's not ours. Well, she could be. Because I fell in love with her. Just pity her. Mom, it's more than pity. I love her. I love her. You barely know all my... You can't love her. And yet it feels like I've known her all my life. This is crazy. You are crazy. Mom... Mom, please, don't. Mom, please. <laughs> There's nothing more it can do to me. <laughs> Is it going to kill me? I'm dying already. <sighs> this is absolute madness. You can't just meet someone within a month and say you're in love with her. Mom. You said so many things about her that made her seem perfect. And when I saw her, she is perfect. She, she's perfect to me. Mom, I love her. I can't, I, I can't help how my heart beats around her. You have Nisi. John or Lamide or Tedola. Nisi and I broke up over a year ago. And you're just telling me? Mom, you had your hell to worry about. I didn't want you worrying about me too. I'm sorry. Mom, please. You always told me. A dream that a person dreams alone is only a dream. But a dream that we dream together can be a reality. 
Oma has dreams, Mom. I want to dream it with her. Please, Mom. Please. We just have to take proper precaution for now so that your auntie doesn't find out. Okay? I understand. I wish I could just run away with you right now. Really? <laughs> you must watch a lot of movies. <laughs> Bye, John. <laughs> What just happened? Look here. Baby, you know you can just read the news from the app. Newspaper is so old school. Well, I like to feel and touch my paper, and then when I'm done, I squeeze it up. Thank you very much, Alma. You know you're weird, right? Mm. You know, this is very good coffee. Yeah, it's hot, just how I like it.
Mamouj, we no sleep yesterday. Oh. Hi. Madame almost died. What happened? We just even pre make she make him this time. This time? Hey now, for many years now, Madame don't fight with cancer now. <gasps> cancer? I got to carry him go hospital. Which, which hospital? Which hospital I beg? Um, St. Mary Specialist. That one fell out. Okay, okay, okay. Now, why not? Okay, so, um, Mr. John, you just have to calm down. Everything is going to be fine. She's going to be fine. Okay? Thank you. How, how is she? She's stable for now. Your family now. You have to get used to seeing her like this. She's dying. She's going to pull through. She always does. Are you sure she will pull through? Black don't crack. Not even cancer can make a black woman crack. Those were her favorite words. She's going to be fine. From Oma, I I, 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 I went to the hospital to, to see my friend. No, it's my friend I went to see at the hospital. Oma, lie down. Huh? I said lie down here. Lie down. See. You did not go to see my friends. Uh. I want to confirm for myself. Lie down. Please, it's my friend. I want to go and see you. I'm not lying. I'm telling you. Is that what I'm about? Oma, Ma. lie down. Now! Lie down. As I'm looking at you, just lie down. I want to confirm for myself. Okay. Auntie, please, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Please. Be cool, Mama. Ma, I have missed you. Hmm. But I'm thirsty. Let me go get something to drink first. 
At this point, I had two choices. Stay here and be a slave with no higher education, or two, chase after my dream. Wait, 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 where are you going to? Sir? Let us go. Let, let, let this go. Let it go. Let it, let it, let it go. Let it go. Where are you going? Why are you going to? Where are you going to, sir? Which means I have to face the real world with no real family. And... You come back and meet me here. Your bag is here. What happened? I ran away from home. Did he do this to you? the early hours of this morning. No. 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 She was supposed to put through. No, no, no. 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 She was supposed to put through. Cross. <laughs> I won't cross. <laughs> Game changer. Game changer. Go to market. I know it's the only cross you have. Go to market. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's go. Please go on, go on, go on. You only have cross now. Uh uh. I still have it. Seconds. Let's go. Hold on. Picture on last card. Take it. <laughs> oh my god. How did I feel? Whatever. Let me go get water. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. When are you being back? Not without you. What? Look, Omar. We've been in this house together for a month grieving together. Yes, we might act like we are brother and sister, but we're not. We're not. We both know that there is spark, more than spark. I love you. And I know deep down you feel something for me too. Even though we keep avoiding it, even when mom was here. Come, come. I have something to show you, come. Quickly, let's go. What is going on? I reported him to the police. How did you do that without my confession? I have a recording of all our conversation. I wasn't going to allow him to get away. After everything he has done to you, he's going to jail and he's going to be there for a very long time. 
I'm sorry. Only trap. Can you kiss me already? That day, I started a new life with a new family. A family that loved and treated me well. John taught me how to love and care. And though it was not easy at first, but we worked together through it all. I finally went to a physical school and got my degree. We're now building an empire of restaurants all over Nigeria. <laughs> my son, God will bless you. You are a blessing, a God sent to my daughter. Hey, who am I? How can I deny you my daughter's sent in marriage? In fact, you have my blessing and that of my husband. My ancestors, even the mothers as well. I give it to you. <laughs> thank you so much, man. Yeah? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God will bless you. Hey, who am I again? Oh, you bought man in my house. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I told your mother not to be worried. That the Oma I know will return back to this village a big woman. See you now. See you. See my friend. Wait, 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 wait. Before we start, I have to thank you. Really. My mother told me how much of a confidence and encouragement you were to her. Nim, thank you. You are really a friend indeed. Ah, forget that one. Oh my, I am so grateful. I am grateful that you found your dreams. And not just your dreams, you found love on the way. I've heard terrible things, so terrible tales of how young girls who go to the city ends up becoming prostitutes. Ha. <laughs> Susu. That would have been my story. Hey. Ah. I would have been a long forgotten issue by now, if not for the kind heart and blessed soul of Mrs. Davis and John. Omale Chawa would have been old news. Honestly. We thank God. We thank God. See, Nkem. Nkem and her husband. Let me leave it like that. It's a story for another day. Anyway, this this is the mood of celebration. Let us celebrate. Yes, so... Let us celebrate. Wait, see. Speaking of celebration, mm. uh, John and I want to open a restaurant here and we want you to oversee it. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you want me to manage your restaurant here? Yes, now. Uh, who else like give it? Hey! Who else? <laughs> hey! Let me, let me dance my dance for you. He wears more drama. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> my daughter. My beautiful daughter. Look at you, see as you find. <laughs> you have made me so proud. Come on, little one. I know see your uncle and auntie, they don't hurt you. They do you bad. But try to forgive them, eh? 
Forgiveness will lead you so many places. A future bright. Even no go fit to help you. Eh? Forgive them, okay? God, God bless you, eh? <laughs> Everyone is chasing a dream. A dream of making it big once they get to a certain age in life. I have my dream come true, but I didn't achieve it alone. Mrs. Davis was right. A dream you dream alone is just a dream. But a dream you dream together is reality. <laughs> <laughs>